You might have played a lot of Made in 2 puzzles, but believe me, the puzzles that I'm going to show you today are so hard that even pro players can't solve them. In today's episode of Chess Game Buzz, let's explore some of the hardest Checkmate in 2 Moves puzzles and see if you can solve them on your own. Puzzle number 1. Let's say you are playing white. Can you find the mate in 2? Most likely, you are thinking of moving the king first to give a discovered check. Let me tell you, it won't work. Why? You move your king, the black king moves as well, away from your check. Now you now see, there is no checkmate in next move. Because moving the king and checking with the rook is not enough because this king still has room to move. Pause the video and try to find the winning move. I bet you couldn't find it, because it's totally counterintuitive. Most of you think that if we move the queen from A1, we won't have a piece to give the black king check, but are wrong. The winning move here is queen to A8. Didn't see that coming, right? It feels like this queen doesn't care about this king anymore, but as crazy as it sounds, whatever black plays now leads to checkmate on the next move. If queen takes queen, even promoting your pawn at b7 is checkmate. But it is possible that the black queen could have taken the rook on d6. Yes, but queen to h8 is checkmate. But wait, what if he ignores the queen and the rook and just takes the pawn on f5? Then rook to h6 is checkmate. Puzzle number two. Imagine you are playing black. Can you find the first move here? You might be thinking it's easy, but it's not. If you are thinking to take this queen on b6, you are mistaken. The king takes back, and it's just impossible to checkmate on the next move. So let me try again. How do you checkmate with black in just two moves? Let's do some pieces analysis. The bishop on b5 is pinned by the queen, the queen on b6 is pinned by the rook, and this king has no square to go to. I cannot remove the rook from the c6, or I get checkmated in one move. What about moving the queen? If I move it away from the pin, I lose a rook to bishop. And if I stay on this diagonal, he would take my queen on the next move. So, moving the queen is not an option as well. Now, can you figure out what our move should be to give checkmate in next move? Pause the video and think of it. The move is rook to c6. Now, whatever white plays, it's doomed on the next move. Let me show you how. If bishop takes the rook, here we go. Checkmate with the queen. What if he takes the other rook? Our rook takes bishop and its discovery checkmate. And even if queen takes the rook, the other rook to c6 is still checkmate. Puzzle number three. Let's imagine you are playing white. What do you think you can do to checkmate black in two moves? I know you're thinking that checkmating the black king in two moves with two knights and a queen will be a piece of cake. Are you sure about this? Let's pause the video and see if it's as easy as it looks. What did I tell you? It's not easy. Because most of you would be thinking to move the knight at f5 to give a discovery check. But you know what? If you do this, black will capture your other knight, and there is no way you can now checkmate black in next move. In reality, the only move that can lead to checkmate in the next move is quite the opposite of what you all are thinking. The only move to be able to checkmate in two moves is actually removing the possible discovery and going to a square no one would have thought about. You're a genius if you figured this out. The move is moving queen to a6. But why a6? Only from this position, the queen can jump on h6 and can also keep this file under control. Now, if king moves to f3, queen to f1 is checkmate, and if you think going to g5 can save this king, queen to h6 is again a checkmate. If the king moves to e5, queen to d6 is checkmate again. Puzzle number 4. You are playing white again. And as soon as this puzzle appeared, you thought, oh, I can even checkmate this black king in one move. But can you really? Even in two moves? Let's go over this. Let's start screening all possible checks. I guess the first big check you would have noticed is queen to f4, right? You think that the king will move to e1 and then knight to c2 is checkmate. But look closely. The black has another good move apart from moving the queen to avoid checkmate in two and its bishop to f3. 
stopping the check without moving the king, and when you take the bishop, you just lost the puzzle, because two moves have passed already. If you haven't thought of checking with the queen, then I'm sure that the bishop potential discovery is your major check. Pause the video and analyze if moving the rook and giving a discovery check can lead to checkmate in next move. As easy as it might sound, moving this rook won't checkmate in two moves. The winning move here is literally the last piece you would want to move. The move is bishop to c8, sacrificing the bishop. And now, after this move, whatever black plays it is checkmate on the next move. Let's see how. Bishop takes your bishop, queen to h1 is checkmate. But wait, how about bishop on b7 takes you rook on g2? Only now you understand why we played this bishop move to c8. Because now, bishop to a6 is again a checkmate. If you were able to solve these puzzles yourself, then you are really a chess pro. And if you could not, then subscribe to Chess Game Buzz to keep your chess game above everyone else. Also, don't forget to like and share this video and hit the bell icon to keep getting such amazing videos. Thank you for watching.